This is the Vault Skin Chelsea Slim Wallet. It has elastic. Keep watching. Welcome to Walletopia. Please remember to look in the notes below for the links about this wallet as well as others about this episode and tell your friends about the channel. Now let's open up the Vault Skin Chelsea Slim Wallet. The Vault Skins uh, all come in a very similar package. We've reviewed them before. This is the Chelsea. If we open this up, see how well we can do that here. There we go. All right. And comes a nice padded base of the box. It's tissue paper. And here is the Chelsea. It is a slim wallet. It's got an elastic pull strap, which we'll talk about. Talks about its features. Let's get a quick look at its stitching. Very good. Now let's do a feature review of the Vault Skin Chelsea Slim Wallet. If we start on this side, we have an exterior slot here for cards. Probably get one, two or so in there. If we go to the top, this is our only interior slot that we have in here. Cards go top down, and you've got an elastic pull strap that actually then ejects the cards from here. If we go to the back, we have yet another external card slot here. This one is a quick access top down. The front is a side axis here. And so basically two external, one internal, and that is a review of the features of the Volskin Chelsea Slim Wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. The company indicates it can hold up to eight cards. We put six in there just fine. I think eight probably would be at max. It's max, and if you happen to put uh, slips of cash folded over twice in there, that will alter the uh, number of cards you can put in there. Now, the quality, uh, again, as mentioned, is this was designed in the UK, and it's made in China. It is made of top grain, veg tanned leather. Oh yeah, uh, that, that does smell really good, but it is intermixed with RFID lining. Yeah, and lots of it. Now, this elastic pull strap in the middle uh, is not my favorite. I'm inclined to really think that elastic types uh, pull straps will fail more so than the leather kinds. If you're gonna have a pull strap I really kind of prefer the leather one myself. Now the pricing on this is $26. I think it's fair pricing for this. Now from a usability perspective it works fine uh, overall but there are some uh, reports that it stretches out too fast and that the cards begin to fall out. Now that's not uncommon with leather wallets because you, as you add more cards it will stretch it. Uh, and it will not retract. But where there's RFID lining in here, I kind of find that interesting. So maybe we test it out. So we just barely put uh, six cards in here. So let's, and three cards really in this middle section. Let's just take two cards and let's put them in the middle section here. And let's uh, let's see if we have problems at all. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Not at all. Let's have one card in there. Oh yeah. One card seems to just fly out there without much effort at all. Well, that's not something you'd really kind of expect, especially with it being brand new, but it's interesting nonetheless. Now it measures 4.13 by 3.38 by 0.2 inches, and uh, the company sells wallets to fit either UK or US currency, which is very thoughtful of them. And in this one, it doesn't matter. You have to fold it over twice to, uh, to get to that point. But anyway, let's get to the final score. For quality, a three. For price, a four. Features, a three. Usability, a three and perception of three. That gives us a final score of 32 out of 50. Thanks for joining us as always. Tell your friends about our channel. Look at these videos, see if they're interesting. Look for other videos and watch them for us. We appreciate the time you spend. Thanks, bye.